What is up, my friends? Welcome back. I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. Check it out, yo. Uh, before you do anything else, be sure to subscribe to the channel at this moment right now. We're about 700 subscribers away from 5,000. So help me out. Let's go make it happen. All right. Today's show is going to be about um, top 10 best ways to get universal orange shards in the game Top War. So let's just jump right into it. Let's not waste any time. We're going to go best to worst so number one best way to get universal orange shards is from the event called flippy cards it is a gem spend event um the top two events that the uh, top two ways i'm going to talk about today are gem spend events so consider that you're going to be wanting to save up some gems for this event the way the event works is you get um, the option to free refresh a deck of cards and what the deck you're looking for is like the golden slash orange colored deck um the champion deck is what we're looking for so you can re free refresh um usually i think it's like five or six times every day and then when you do get that deck you want to buy it for the you want to flip all nine cards for 800 gems um and that gives you six universal orange shards and then you have the option of going to the the card store because you'll get some tokens for flipping over those nine cards. And then you can buy another two um, universal orange shards. And then, so that gives you a total of eight. So you can get roughly usually about eight per day for five days, six days, the, the span of the event, sometimes more, sometimes less. If you're willing to spend a little extra more gems for when, if maybe you don't get a, um, you know, champion deck, we'll, in the free refresh sometimes you you might need to spend a few gems to get it um, if you're willing to spend gems that way or you can keep going and trying to get multiple champion decks within one day i've gotten up to three champion decks within the um, free refresh portion of the event so consider that. that's the number one best way to get universal orange shards number two best way to get universal orange shards is the deep sea event the deep sea event you want to open all the detectors so you're going to need to save up um what is it 5500 gems so that you can open up all the detectors and to take the most advantage of this event make sure that when you arm the detectors you're not wasting any time when they time out they they're every six hours so that you want to check in every six hours so i've done things where i've actually set an alarm on my phone and woken up if i'm sleeping or different things like so that i'm always resetting those detectors so you have all um you're gathering all the, the the chests that you can and then you get the option of a legendary chest which gives you 10 orange shards or a mysterious purple chest which gives you two orange shards um so i save up you know all my deep sea chests and you merge them together you merge the chests together in order to get one of those two options the way that i play the event is i save them all up until like the end of the event essentially and then merge them all at once to see how many i got but you can obviously open up as you go so you can get you know a pretty good amount of orange shards within a week you know 30 40 50 orange shards um, within a week so it's a pretty good event to get chunks of orange shards um, those two top events those flippy cards and deep sea events are the best way to get like chunks of orange shards within a short amount of time the rest of the, the remaining um, portion of the list you don't get as many in as short amount of time but they are great ways to um, get orange shards. the number three i'm bringing in at number three is the amalia chest so we're going to do it i have it here on this account so those videos that you just the video you just saw on the side screen was from older videos that i've recorded but um, right now on the account that we're in right now, I have, um, Amalia chest available to me. So Amalia chest, you know, when you have the hero Amalia, um, you have, she gives you the option of collecting, um, chest is what, what her like special ability is. And when you defeat dark forces, you get, um, these, these chests here. Um, they give you a couple different versions. I have her upgraded to the point where I get the gold chest. I think you also get a silver chest when you first start out. Um, let's see, silver, yeah, silver chest, and then gold chest. So I'm at the point of getting gold chest. And then within these chests, you can get certain items. And then so when you upgrade her to the gold chest for sure, you can get some more universal orange shards. So let's do it right now. I have 52 available for me. Normally I wait till the end of the week to open them all. 
um, for my Saturday live show, but I'm just going to do it here with you today right now. So we'll open 52 chests and see how many orange shards we get out of this. Um, we got three more orange shards um, for out of 50 G chest. So that wasn't too bad. Um, so that's another great way. So again, Amalia is going to be a money spending person. Like when she shows up in the ability to buy her, you're going to need a buyer if you um, weren't one of the early, I guess Amalia was released in one of the early um, versions of the game. You could get her as a free to play hero, but right now she's a pay to play hero. So that's something to consider. So next up is treasure guards. So when you're in your hunting guild um, and you're doing your hunting guild tasks and you get the option to open a treasure guard, you always want to do the rare treasure guards, but then they drop chest and you want to collect as many chests as you can. So you'll get the option of getting orange universal orange shards out of the treasure guard chest. Let's see if we get any today. I only have 10 available. Odds are pretty low. I'll get any universal orange shards out of this right now, but oh, there I got one. We lucked out today. So got one universal orange shards out of the treasure guard chest. The next the next great way to um, get universal orange shards is to make sure that you're playing the server versus server events that happen because when you get your eagle points, your battle cards um, from the server versus server event, you can spend them and then you can spend and buy up to two universal orange shards per day in the, the server versus server store. So keep playing your server versus server events so you can get up to two universal orange shards per day um, after you play the event, if you do well in the event. Um, and then as you upgrade your VIP level, you have to be upgraded to VIP level um, four to start to open up. You can get up to three universal orange shards every week out of the VIP store. So be sure to check that out. That's another great way. So every week you get three. So every month you'll get three, six, nine, 12. You can get up to like 12 per month out of the VIP store. And then if you're VIP eight, you can do another three. So, but that's, you know, more money. Again, these are money spending things, but you can make VIP um, four pretty um, economically. VIP four is not a bad level to um, shoot for because you can also helps you open Caruso. So you're getting um, more for your money there. So it's a good, something you could, should consider. It's only like 50 bucks to get to that point, 50 or $60. So it's not so bad. Um, the next a good place to get universal orange shards is from the gem point store. So every um, day this resets and you can get, during the event, you can get three universal orange shards. I've already bought a bunch out of this. I don't, haven't spent enough gems today in order to get any more, but you know, sometimes these events are um, actually in tandem with like a flippy card or deep sea event. So you got to make sure you're watching this. When you spend gems on something, you can then come to this store, this point store and use your, you know, spending gems over here and get a, a little bonus in the point store. So, and you can buy universal orange shards there. So be sure to look out for that. And this is a tricky one because it doesn't notify you when you have gems, when you have points available in here. So you got to be looking for it. Um, the next up is the radar quest and on, um, you know, sometimes this isn't a great place. So these last three are probably, so they went from really good with Livy cards to deep sea to okay with Amalia treasure guards and server versus server, um, store and sun, the Sunday VIP store. Um, and then, and then gem points is okay. But then these last three are the kind of worst places and you only get a, very little amount of universal orange shards, but um, the radar quest is another place. So when you're doing these radar quests, sometimes you get a five star mission that will give you one universal orange shard. So it's pretty far in between, but it doesn't necessarily cost you any money. They are free, sort of free events, although they do cost a bit. So you have to it's just time really that you're dealing with. And then vein miner is another um, good place to get universal orange shards. And um, I don't have the ability to dig right now because my vein miners are in, you know, all blocked by the carts on the bottom. But um, you, every once in a while, as you dig in vein miner, you will get a universal orange shard out of here. Um, so that's another place to get universal orange shards. You can also, you know, mine for these 24 hour, this cut takes 24 hours to get, but once you get one, you can get two universal orange shards out of here. So that's another place you can get universal orange shards. 
um, out of those chests as well as those multi-function chests. And then the last, the number 10 kind of top of the top 10 places to get universal orange shards is out of arms operation. And with arms operation, you, you know, use your recruit vouchers, your premium recruit vouchers and battling dark forces to give you ammo boxes that will then allow you to open up the tic-tac-toe um, game of arms operation and you're trying to achieve the uh, special reward which is three of the planes at once and then you'll get four universal orange shards it's not a very you know the the rate at which it drops is not very high but you can get them there so those are my top 10 ways to get um, universal orange shards in top war if you have some other favorite ways i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and i hope you find lots of universal orange shards to help you upgrade your orange heroes and be sure to come back check out the channel for my live stream which i do multiple times a week often um, check out the discord join our discord the link is in the description of this video and you can find our discord that's where i announce and keep you up to date on all the times that i'll be doing my live stream and again be sure to sub to the channel all right Thanks for your support, and as always, be loving, kind, and patient. Peace.